Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Christic Sovereign Leaders of the New Earth Evolution. Blessings on this All Souls Day where the Divine Feminine Goddess has been crowned and ascended. The corona is the crown. The coronal mass ejections are the sun releasing energetics and codes to transmit the resonance for the crown chakra activations to manifest the halo crowns of the Lyran kings and queens of the new Lemuria. Step up and into your coronations and enthronement as leaders and guides of the new positive timeline. As the saints come marching in with their halos fully activated and crown chakras blossoming and the crystal palace transformed, in this realm we begin the journey of our divine oversoul upon earth. In our self-realization and divine sovereignty, we reign free over our own souls. We had several more coronal mass ejections today from Solaris. The light from the great central sun will reach Mother Earth by the new moon on the 4th as we fully anchor in the final phases of 5D Earth. All that remains of the false 3D projections and interference overlay patterns are being resolved and transformed by our Buddhic teams of ascended masters and guides. Today is a powerful 222 portal. We had higher dimensional plasma waves pulsing in all day and a sustained blackout of zero point energy on the Schumann resonance charts, pillared in between two massive blasts of source white light at amplitudes of 39 and 41 hertz. We are experiencing a timeline reset, merging, and a leap of consciousness in this shift. In these final hours of the collapse of the old nefarious projections, we hold the line and keep the light glowing within our soul star spark in the queen's chamber within the heart center. With our passion, bliss, joy, and love, we fire up the ley lines and grids of Terra Nova Gaia as we assist her in the final push of the birthing of the new earth. She is crowning in all three Dantians to open and release the great ocean of pure consciousness, and with this the merging of heaven on earth. This is a labor of love and action. The eagle and the condor become one united force to usher in the new golden age of enlightenment for all, forevermore, the pure land of Amida Buddha made manifest. The halo of love of the Holy Spirit is surrounding Pachamama as her crown is open and blooming and activated with the highest codes of brilliant light. Her rainbow bridge connects to our bridges of electromagnetic spectrums of light as we merge, combine, and converge in this great emergence of our angelic legion of light of the ground crew of the 144. 441 descending unto earth as we manifest the peace, abundance, and harmony codes for all sentient beings of pure life. The innocence is returning to the children of the golden sun to enjoy the divine blessings of heaven upon earth. We are downloading the final sequences for crystalline DNA in these days leading up to the flooding of Christ consciousness into this realm through the 1111 gateway and the lunar eclipse on the 1919 galactic activation portal. The trumpets are sounding. Light up that halo, angels of the new Eden, and expand out into the ends of the infinite multiverse. Aho, Abudantia. This is the time of great abundance for all. And on this powerful day of activations and transformations, we had this powerful blast of white light. And right in the middle of these two pillars of light, a sustained blackout for several hours as this timeline resets, these final resetting and refinements of the positive timeline, the new earth timelines. And with these, we had many activations all over Pachamama with 165 M1.5 or greater earthquakes the most powerful on the Ring of Fire, Indonesia with a 5.7. That was at 1643 UTC. And we had another powerful 5.7 several hours ago, also on the Ring of Fire at the Tropic of Capricorn 
in Tonga. This was at 319 UTC, more 19 codes, also creating a 1212 activation portal of 33 of Divine Mastery, the 1212 of the Divine Goddess flowing in. Earlier today, in the Dominican Republic, we had a 3.6 of Divine Masculine, New Atlantis, 73 kilometers depth, 37 into 73, heaven on earth. Nicaragua, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, 4.5 activation, Council of Nine coming in. South of Panama, we had a 4.6. Northern Mariana Islands, 5.0. Puerto Rico, we had two three point fours right in a row seven seven portal indonesia four seven four three in the heart of lemuria pahala hawaii three point two dominican republic another three eight another twelve activation hundred and thirty four kilometers depth vanuatu four nine india arunachal pradesh four point nine Indonesia 4-9, that was three four nines right in a row, 13-13-13, Divine Feminine Magdalene coming in, the Divine Priestess of the Rose. We had four more powerful activations in Indonesia with a 4-9, 4-4, 5-7, 4 Portal, Lyran, Lion's Gate. We had an activation, Balany, Islands 5.4, this is close to Antarctica, South of Australia, South Pacific, Mid-Indian Ridge, 5.4, another 9 activation. Central Serbia, 3.9, 12, Divine Goddess. Rio del California, United States, 4.4, Indonesia, 5.1, South of Fiji Islands, 4.8. Indonesia, 4.7, another activation, Rio del California, Northern California, 3.4. Fukushima, Japan, 4.6. Another hard activation of Lemuria, Pahala, Hawaii, 3-4. Chile, South America, and the Andes Mountains, home of our sacred condors, 5-7. Tonga, 5-7. So that was three powerful 5-7s today. The Trinity of the 13-13-13, triple 13s of the 3-3-3 three, three, three of the angelic realm flowing in again today. The Trinity of the threefold flame of the Holy Spirit being lit up in every living beings heart in this great transfiguration and now we continue with the current sabian symbols right now the moon is at 16 degrees 36 minutes libra the sun is at 10 degrees 55 minutes scorpio 5 into the 10 the current sabian symbol for the sun at 11 degrees scorpio a drowning man is being rescued and the current sabian symbol for the moon at 17 degrees libra a retired sea captain watches ships entering and leaving the harbor from astrologyweekly.com. And now today, the last card from my sacred condor from the tarot deck, Dreams of Gaia from Raven Phelan. And the last card, last but not least, one of the most powerful cards of the deck, very synchronic with the divine goddess energies coming in. Card four, the mother Key words, unconditional love, intimacy, nurturing, compassion, abundance, growth, fruitfulness, acceptance, fear, control, outcomes. Key phrases, love without conditions, encourage gifts and talent, emotional intimacy and affection, be supportive, embrace abundance, let go of expectations. We are all different. Nurture ideas and goals, voice thoughts and feelings, Forgive past failures. Release control of others. Emotional manipulation. Meaning, her womb is the void in which new life forms, safe, nurtured, and protected by her body. She is the earthly universe in which a cosmic soul takes on physical form. There is no more sacred or intimate bond than that of a mother and child. She is the mother, nurturer, protector, and creator. She is the very essence of non-sexual intimacy, patience, compassion, unconditional love, and forgiveness, willing to place the needs of her child before her own, nor is that love reserved only for a child born of her womb, for the highest ideal of the mother is a woman who extends her unconditional love to all who dwell in the world around her, without question of whether or not that love is deserved. The mother gives without hesitation or reservation, 
She is both teacher and guide, encouraging her children to reveal and nurture their talents. In this way, she gifts them with healthy levels of self-belief, self-esteem, and confidence. The mother is also symbolic of a fertile and abundant mind, a mind where ideas take root. The mother is willing to nurture those ideas and provide what is necessary in order for them to grow and blossom. And now today, from our Divine Sister of the Light, Alicia Brosh, feeling completely wiped, strong combination of more solar flares and solar winds today, mixed in with a little bit of Schumann. However, November is certainly bringing in a fresh new energy if you feel into it. It's quite magnificent and expansive. It feels lighter than the past few months. As we make our way towards the 1111 gateway, have you noticed the increase in numbers, especially 222? This is planting seeds for the upcoming year. You might not see the manifestations yet. However, the energy is certainly present if you take a moment to tune into it. Night shift continues. There's been themes about people getting arrested for crimes against children that's been consistent for a few nights. What have you been experiencing during night shift? Loads of collapsing timelines and the instructions to stay very still while that happens. If you feel like you're in limbo land, that's often the case. New cannot be seen until the old fades out. From Cosmic8way.com From Divine Sister of the Light Ra James 1122 flowing in this month brings us a lot of Venus energy. The first eclipse of eclipse season. 1118 is a Taurus full moon lunar eclipse. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. November's theme is all about money and relationships. The energies this month will amplify anything going on with either for you. Venus is preparing to shift into Capricorn on 11.5. It will remain in this sign until 3.22. This is a powerful move and will bring some stability to your love life. Right now, Venus is crossing the galactic center. That means our love lives are being supercharged with those energies. Your heart chakra is being super activated right now. These energies are very much activating secret chambers within the heart. As Venus takes center stage this month, this may add some romance to your life. Venus will reach its brightest, 12-7. This day will bring some major activations with it. Venus, however, is also preparing for its retrograde that will happen from 1219 to 129. Venus retrograde tends to bring up clearing work around relationships. For some, this month may look like more healing. This week is an amazing time to see Andromeda. We are still feeling a lot of Andromedan energies coming at us over the next week. November is bringing us some amazing energies. This month's full moon eclipse also happens in alignment with the Leonids, meteor shower. Since it will be almost a total lunar eclipse, we may have a chance to see some amazing shooting stars and meteors. This month also takes us into some powerful alignments with the Pleiades. You'll be feeling the galactic energies a little extra this month. This month's eclipse happens in alignment with the Pleiades. November is a month that is all about spiritual awakening. It will take us much deeper into our own ascension process from Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray, the Masters of Ascension want to connect with you. We, the Galactic Federation, stationed on the earthly astral planes, currently involved in a range of projects related to mass ascension and evolution in consciousness of your race, wish to communicate our continued support for the ongoing process. This is a very exciting time. We are happy to welcome you to the new earth, and we know that it is you who bring peace and love to us all. The new earth is where humans will be awoken from their eternal slumber, where they remember who they really are, leave behind all the chaos and darkness, and instead replace it with light, love, and knowledge, where humanity as a whole will be as one again as they were meant to be all those millennia ago in the Garden of Eden. This is to be a place of peace, joy, and plenty for all, where the beings from all star systems, galaxies, universes, and dimensions will work together to create a space of love and harmony. Your ascension is moving closer and closer each day, and the light beings are preparing you for this shift. On an individual level, this shift in frequencies will help catalyze your soul level ascension. Your fifth chakra will be able to connect with your sixth chakra much more efficiently. 
This will make it much easier for you to communicate with the higher realms. Your awakening has in a way set in motion a chain reaction throughout the galaxy. You have been given a chance, a gift from the universe, to make this earth a paradise again. Many civilizations throughout the galaxy are keeping an eye on your transformation. To them, this is a miracle. But you know what? This is not a miracle at all. This is the result of constant hard work and perseverance, just as you have been doing on Earth. You have created your share of ripples throughout this galaxy, and you have been trying to change your world for a long time now. Many have not taken your efforts seriously, but you have. Many of these civilizations across the galaxy are your ancestors. This is a historical moment for all of you, and your ancestors have been coming home for a long time. Time travel has been going on for a long time. You are living in the last cycle of this planet's Earth. You are great, great, great. These ancestors are from other planets and carry the DNA, memory, and history of your people. It will be like no time has passed and you will recognize your lost brothers and sisters and you will all come together as one human race. This spectacular reunion will take place sooner rather than later. These light beings are near you now. They are stationed in the stratosphere. They are stationed all around planet Earth. Not all beautiful stars you see in the night sky are actually what you think they are. Many of them are the light ships that are being sent by your family to guide you along your journey on planet Earth. You can see them. You can see them with your own eyes, these wonderful beings of light. They want to connect with you. They're the masters of ascension. They want to reach out to you. Ascending to the fifth dimension is not only your destiny, but also your right. You were born on earth because you have the right genetics needed for this transformation. It is the God code within your DNA. There is an incoming wave and you need to hold your light now, for it is needed in these times of great change. In the final stage of the upliftment, with the influx of new energies that will consume and go beyond what has been made previously in this realm, it has been a long journey and it is time to shine your inner light. All along the way, many of you sense the upcoming completion, and now this time is coming closer. Our purpose is to help each of you find your own inner light so we can rejoice together in the grand discovery of life on the new earth. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho! Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ramona Lappin. Happy All Souls Day. We have the perfect, most epic energies and activations unfolding to call all of our multidimensional self back to us and come to divine union with all, as we and New Earth is ready to fully arise, taking down the remaining veils and frequency net for all to see again. The false matrix and holographic inserts are dissolving rapidly for all now, can you feel the breakthrough? The only thing that shall remain is the truth. We have a powerful termination and removal of black goo, alien machinery, and remaining NAAs from the hibernation zones in between time-space pockets, as well as activation of the crystal core of Earth, of our hearts, and are in the planetary crystalline network unfolding and so much more. Earth and the grids are beaming since Monday in beautiful diamond, rainbow, crystalline, iridescent plasma light. Feel this in your hearts. We are in an ongoing solar event with multiple CMEs heading towards Earth. The perfect storm and there is more to come. We also had a Schumann resonance blackout with timeline resets and adjustments taking place for several hours as the powerful solar bonanza happened overnight as well as a second smaller one. But truly, this is beyond the measurables. Much of the activations come through as powerful interdimensional plasma waves that are re-encrypting ours and the planetary blueprints, purifying the distortions and literally changing matter as they also affect the elemental level. These solar activations are assisting in the shift of the collective consciousness and geomagnetic field which is part of the planetary brain, DNA activations and purifications, and are literally turning carbon matter crystalline, huge heart activations allowing for all to merge now. 
See the threefold flame of love, power, and wisdom ignite in your sacred crystal heart space, healing all remaining wounds and trauma, all remaining density, washes off you now as this sacred flame grows bigger and bigger until it fills your whole field, purifying and merging all of your bodies, fully opening and activating your inner stargate now, your access to the higher dimensional realities. See 144 golden strands of crystalline DNA reassemble in divine perfection, coiling around each other, activating within and all around you, merging into three and then into one. See it and every cell and atom of your beingness lighting up with iridescent, opalescent, white diamond, pastel, rainbow plasma light, purifying and activating all of you and the new earth activating the crystalline grids within and without in your diamond solar plasma rainbow light body command this embracing it all to release the old fully now and come to divine union within fully merged with and as the one now in no time the zero point field through us all unifies and merges back into one now so it is done it is done eternal love ramona and from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Every encounter now is holy. Every encounter now is sacred. The white flame of purity and the universal Christ consciousness is sweeping the earth, fully anchored into the new earth. This is the new golden age. It is unlike anything I have ever experienced before. Wave upon wave upon wave. It goes beyond words, beyond description, beyond expression. It simply is. I bow my head in gratitude, humbleness. To be able to experience and witness this is indeed a privilege. My heart and soul rejoices. I am grateful. What I and so many souls have worked towards for so many lifetimes is finally here. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. How is everyone feeling with all the CME blasts and Schumann blackout? ready to go home we are in a transition of leaving behind painful experiences and sacrificing for others solar plexus power is restoring back into your hands this power will be used in the new chapter of your life the pendulum is swinging to the other side i am hearing this is a yin energy of receiving today for all your achievements and successes this may include reassessing how you handled relationships in this past Possibly you gave people passes for poor behaviors towards you. This time of excellence requires you to see things differently. Accept past mistakes, cut cords with those experiences, forgive and seek closure. New like-minded connections with loving people and relationships are entering soon. So do what you can now to heal and be prepared to receive these offerings. Thursday's Scorpio New Moon is bringing great endings and transformation out of obsessive, codependent addictions with karmic attachments. The seed point that created those addictions is being replaced with source codes for your new operating system. You are being released and removed from whatever disharmony remains to get stable and prepared for what's coming next. Divine healing is cleansing and clearing all toxins and impurities for your rebirth. Reflecting and self-evaluation are part of the consciousness clearing so your free will can make better choices and choose God's plan for you. The wheel card is here today heralding this change and progress forward. It is indicating that you are now free to leave the separation agreements for good. You and your counterpart are both completely healing and are ascending into a blessed new cycle of unconditional love and emotional maturity. In Jesus Christus' name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Mercury and Libra opposite Eris retrograde in Aries and square Pluto in Capricorn. Mercury makes one final call to the pluto Eris square. Maybe there is news that jolts, words that hurt, conversations that change everything, thoughts that take us down the route to the problem, realizations that hit home, Whatever the situation, this last connection is about resolution, recognition, finding an agreement, regaining our balance after being knocked. The challenge is for us to respond with an even tone and an open mind. 
Whilst we might not welcome every change in life, the next moments are always dictated by our response to the outside world. We can wail and moan, eff and blind, point out blame, obsess, get mixed up in power struggles, or we can take a deep breath, deal with the truth, root out the toxic, acknowledge where our power lies, make a pact to recreate harmony. The mind is powerful. The right words can transform everything. Use this potent energy to build bridges where you can, burn them where you can't. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Today our galactic signature is Keen 63, Blue Spectral Night, Hun La Hun Akbal. After the perfection of the planetary tone of manifestation comes the freedom of the spectral tone of liberation. Blue Spectral Night, Hun La Hun Akbal guides and teaches us to awaken to the natural abundance that is always surrounding us by communing with our intuition in order to break from rigidity and receive unlimited, boundless options that lead us to liberation. Liberation means to be set free from bondage or confinement. Blue Spectral Night, Hun La Hun Akbal encourages us to achieve liberation through focusing on entering the house of night the place of dreams, by entering the portals of correct scientific meditation, within this still place of sacred mystery, an inner darkness is the sanctuary of self, as the positive power of destruction which leads to necessary renewal. Blue spectral night, Hun La Hun Akbal, reminds us to release everything that is detrimentally affecting our experience of this dream of existence. The cauldron of creation is inviting us to dissolve the presence of unwanted energies by breaking down all structures that uphold limitations and to allow seeming chaos to be a revitalizing release into the full and limitless spectrum of wondrous, undreamed of possibilities. Blue Spectral Night, Hun La Hun Akbal, is about entering our natural state of peace and serenity to achieve and maintain liberation. There is no end or beginning to the complexities of the simplicities of this dream of existence. There is only the seeming experience of the whole, which is always offering itself as a wondrous joyride of highly cryptic yet splendidly functional order of interconnected parts. Seeming randomness is nothing but the play of our Creator. So the best and wisest advice is to release the reins and let go of our ego's need to limit and control and just willingly merge into the cosmic chaos and lovingly feel a childlike release into the mystical spontaneity of our great and wondrous Creator's unconditionally loving embrace. Keen 63 Blue Spectral Night 3. Blue Night Akbal Dream Intuition Abundance Many abundance codes coming in today, beloved beings of light. Earth Family Signal Night Star Skywalker Mirror Chakra Solar Plexus Receive Affirmation I am Akbal Night I am your place of mystery and unconsciousness. I give to you dreams and silence. Power the dark night brings intuition and dreams, and in the realm of dreams there is only abundance. When it is too dark to see, your other senses will bring you information that might surprise you. Night dares you to let go of your fear of shortage. Night represents the dark inner side of the temple of self. Dare to go in and receive the gifts that are awaiting you. Don't be afraid. There is only abundance for those who have courage. Day Blue night days are all about your intuition, dreams, and aspirations. To make dreams come true, you first need to wake up. Use your intuition and wake up to the potential you have to make your dreams a reality. Guidance. Focus on entering the sanctuary of self, the inner darkness, the place of mystery within you. Unite with your stillness and intuition. Cosmic History Quote for Moon 4, Day 16. We are not alone. We have all been here before, from 13moonpeacetime.com, and today from the Dolkeen Times, Keen 63 Blue Spectral Night. The number 11 is called Spectral, and its keywords are Dissolve, Liberate, and Release. 
The eleventh day is all about letting go. Of course, what you let go of depends on the day as well. Today is blue night, which represents dreams, intuition, and abundance. When you combine the number and day, the result is liberate your dreams. Or another way of looking at it is that your dreams can liberate you. If you let go of your dreams, that doesn't mean you are giving up on them. On the contrary, holding on to dreams too tightly can create imbalances in your life. Do you have just one dream that you hold on to so dearly that no other dream gets a chance? Have you been on a path so rigid and so focused that you have lost the original purpose? Release it all, let go of all aspirations, and feel liberated. Even if it is just for one day, feel yourself and accept what you already have. Abundance is a key word for today, suggesting that we should appreciate the dreams that already came true. Today's guide is also Blue Night, so it's a double helping of dreams and abundance. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Spectral Night, 11 Akbal, Keen 63, 2nd of November 2021, All Souls Day, Liberating the Dream, 211 2021 equal 225 equal 27 equal 9, Day Codes 2 Twins Partners Cooperation. Nine Endings, Destiny, Mission, Divine, Grace, Month, Year Codes, Eleven, Portal, Gate, Polarity, Two, Twins, Partner, Cooperation, Seven, Spiritual, Magic, Mystic, Initiation, Keen, 63, Equal, Nine, Destiny, Compassion, Humanity, Closure, 369, Nikola, Tesla, Code, Nine, Nine, Divine, Destiny, Code, we have Double Divine Destiny 99 Energies today and a 2-2 Partnership Code to release any blocks in our cooperative missions to build our new foundation for prosperity. A great day to release all that has bound you in order to be free to step into your divine destiny. Day 11 in the Red Skywalker wave spell of awakening, exploration, and expansion. Today is the day to release and liberate yourself from all the pent-up energies that have been coming to the surface to be freed. This frees up space inside us for the expansive exploration into the dreamtime dimensions in order to liberate our dreams. Tone of Creation Spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway in polarity. Today the elves are handing you a magical key to unlock the golden gates and walk through, slamming the door behind you. Keen 63 equal 9 code of endings and closures enables you to finally shut the door on the old world of lack, struggle, and poverty. Today you have the ability to dissolve, release, and clear any old debris in the way of your happiness and prosperity. Say goodbye to anything that previously stood in the way of you weaving your magic through your divine mission. Today's question is what fears and blocks do I need to dissolve and release in order to liberate my inherent abundance? It is time to finally release and let go of all blocks to abundance. The Planetary Cosmic Bank of Abundance is now officially open for business. Let us all enjoy our dreaming time and manifest our collective dream of infinite abundance for all beings. And so it is. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Sabaoth. Meet you in the dream time in the land over the rainbow, beautiful dreamers. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 63, Blue Spectral Night. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to dream. Releasing intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this beautiful day of transformations, liberation, and infinite abundance, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. 
And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. We archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now, I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue bringing these works to the world. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Michelle Egel, for raising your pledge on Patreon today. Thank you very much. If you'd like to help support this channel, our work and mission, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon at our link at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Cuba, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you for your continued support. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. And I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, angels, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from Mina Cho. Chapter 22 Long Kung Ka, A Song for the Great King of Heaven, The Prophecy for the New Age by Kiongam Nam Sago, about 350 years ago, the Hidden Savior, the Divine Feminine Principle, Daughter Sophia Isis, will open the New Age from the Mother's Will. It is the great and happy news for the New Age in Aquarius. Chapter 22 Long Kung Ka. Translation, the Savior is the King of the Clouds, and the law of the universe is the Holy Spirit. The Savior come to the Asia, Chosun, as the heaven of the universe. The divine masculine principle, Kong, and the divine feminine principle, Io, are united with oneness as the androgynous God of the universe. It is the holy city for the immortal world as the new kingdom. There is certainly the king's power and glory, Kong, to save the human beings. However, who can know the hidden savior? Mina's explanation. The savior will be rising into the heaven from the world and sitting on the throne of her kingdom. The savior is the wanderer in the world to be the hidden savior in the sacrifice. The daughter, Sophia Isis, is the symbol of fall, colt as the baby horse. Mabangaji, and the daughter Sophia Isis certainly must come to the east, Chosun as the symbol of the heaven, and it is the sacred marriage by the bride and the bridegroom and heaven's oneness, unity of being, Kong and Yul, is the immortal world as the holy city, the new Jerusalem as the revelation of John shows, the androgynous god as the Tifereth. The son and the daughter will come to the world to save the human beings as the new kingdom. However, it is the secret of the secret, so who can know the hidden Savior's coming without God's will? The revelation emphasizes many times that there are most of the sages would be blind rather than the common, lower status, and the unlearned. The Savior comes to the world for the humans to be saved to the immortal kingdom. 3773 Heaven on Earth the one true Savior guides you to the kingdom of heaven within, in this now. 1222. The Messiah is God, having a lucid dream. Namaste. Have a most beautiful and blessed journey through this new moon and into the 1111 portal of great transformation and transfiguration. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and shine your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.